Basal dosing. Basal timing. What's up guys? It's Ali Abdul Kareem from Diabetes TV and today we are going to talk about basal dosing management. Now, what do I have here in my hand? Levomir, Levomir insulin. I'm gonna go through the insulins that I know for the basal insulins that people use today. Levomir, check. Lantis, check. Major key alert. So if you are currently a diabetic learning about the diabetes solutions and you have a flex pen or syringe and you want to learn more about basal insulin, watch the rest of this video. Major key. Now, I'm going to talk about how Dr. Bernstein recommends his way of basal insulin management. Let's get into that. I am not a healthcare professional. I am not anywhere near those. I am not recommending anyone does this. I'm telling you what I do and the people that follow his program, sometimes it can get a little confusing so I'm making the video for those people. Or if you're just interested in learning, this is my channel, I can say that. Dang. So let's get into it. Number one, Dr. Bernstein recommends you take your basal shots when you go to bed and on a rising. On a rising, that means when you wake up. When you go to bed, that means when you go to sleep. Durr. Now, his rule is he does not tell patients to inject more than seven units of basal insulin in more than one area. Now, you can inject way more than seven units if your body requires it, but that's the part I got confused reading his book. He means do not inject in one area of your, you know, your stomach or your butt, wherever, more than seven units because that increase, that makes it unpredictable higher than seven units and you're creating a big, I don't know how to say it, like a almost a bolus under your skin when it's supposed to be a basal. So if you were like me and you require about 20 to 24 units of basal insulin a day, I'm still currently trying to figure out my basal insulin, it varies a lot. If you're like me in the 20, 24 range, what I do is at bedtime, I'm currently now at 20 units a day. So at bedtime, I take 10 units out of a syringe of Levomir, not Lantus. He, I'll tell you why he doesn't use Lantus. Pull out 10 units and I will make another video on how to make. So what I'll do is I'll take out 10 units out of the vial. I'll inject about four in one area, four in another, and then five here, four, eight, nine, ten. No, no, two in another. So I'll split them into three different shots that creates more predictability and the basal insulin becomes more effective. Now he has various tests to run your basal insulin and how much you require. It's very, very, very crucial people do that. I haven't, I've done it a couple days and I got kind of a range of where I'm at. I'm sitting okay at 20 units a day. And then when I wake up in the morning, I'll take 10 to 11 units, same thing. I'll take it three different areas in my fat area in the stomach. Timing? How does that work? You tell me. Now, with timing, he talks about basal insulin, we have been lied to. We have been told it lasts from 12 to 24 hours of basal insulin. That's for Lantus and Levomir, when in fact they don't last that long. Now, if you take a big, big basal industrial shot, like 24 in one area, inject, then it will last that long. But that also forces you to eat 24 hours a day. Not literally, but he means more low, low blood sugars. So here's his rule. Now when you take your shot, let's say you sleep at midnight and you wake up at eight or seven, whatever that is, you sleep seven to eight, six hours. What he says is if you take your shot at bedtime, that bedtime shot lasts only eight and a half hours max is, is what he has seen. Now with the morning shot, if you wake up at seven or eight, take your shot in the morning, that lasts 18 hours. I used to take my shot three times a day because I thought he meant all shots last eight hours a day. So I was taking them three times a day, not too good. If your sleeping schedule really varies, just be very timely. Now what he means is do not take your basal insulin too close to each other. That means if you're sleeping at midnight and you wake up at six and you take your shot or five in the morning, that's too early. You wanna take it about six hours, seven hours, that's when it leaves your body. Now everyone's very different. Like I said, I'm not a healthcare professional. Only 20 have had diabetes for two years, type one that is. And I'm just sharing what I got out of it and things I've learned that are helping me with his program. 
Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna link in the description the basal insulin regimen by Dr. Bernstein. It's about either eight minutes or 18 minutes long. I'm gonna link it below. Thanks so much for watching. Diabetes TV, basal insulin check-in, signing out. Peace. Thanks for watching.